Yo, what up, gang? It's Darrell Hoshin Photography coming to you live. No, I'm just playing, man. Yo, what up, guys? I haven't seen you guys in a while. I've been busy and lazy at the same time, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm back and I just want to sit down and talk to you guys. I don't really talk to you guys that much, man. I'm always shooting, showing you guys how to take dope shots, but I never sit down and just like talk to you guys. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that I think is important. You know, you go on Facebook, you know, these Facebook groups, you go on YouTube, watch the comments, watch videos, and we photographers, we talk about gear a lot. And granted, yeah, we are photographers, you know, this is our profession, this is our craft, so we definitely have to talk about the equipment that we use, but a lot of y'all are just taking it way too far, man. Y'all are just arguing, bickering, debating over stuff that really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things like the new camera comes out right you guys rush to go buy that camera and it's the greatest thing and then next year a newer camera comes out and that previous camera that you had is no longer good enough and you got to go get the new camera and then it's a cycle you just keep doing this year after year same thing with lenses same thing with flash you know what i mean like oh should i get the 80 200 or the 400 or should i get the 600 should i get the Canon or Nikon or like, bro, or Sony. Sorry, I gotta add Sony in there. We argue over these things that don't really matter. And you have to ask yourself, number one, will this make my photos better? Okay, will it make me a better photographer? Ask yourself that. When you're considering getting this new gear or switching gears or whatever, ask yourself, will it actually make my photos better? Then you gotta ask yourself, will my clients notice the difference? My paying clients, the people paying me money, will they notice a difference? And then you gotta also ask yourself, is this gear going to make my workflow uh, faster or more efficient? Will I be able to achieve these results that I want faster and more efficiently? Ask yourself those questions. If you answer no to all of those questions, you don't need the gear. <laughs> you don't need it, bro, I'm telling you. Like, I got the 85, for, for my Sony, I got the 85 1.8 Sony lens. Love it. Great lens. I paid like 800 Canadian uh, for that. I don't know what the conversion is. I'll, I'll put the conversion up there for you guys. But I paid like seven, 800 bucks for that lens. And people are like, yo, are you going to get the G Master? No. <laughs> Why the hell am I going to get the G Master for? That thing is like twice uh, the, the cost. It's like, what, two grand? Something like that. Why am I gonna do that? Okay, okay, so I get a little bit more uh, aperture or f-stop, it's 1.4, okay. It can get a little bit more light in, it's gonna blur the background a little bit more. The image quality is gonna be a little bit more better. Is my client gonna notice the difference? No! Is it gonna make me a better photographer? No! Is it gonna improve my workflow? No! Help me achieve um, results faster and more efficiently? No! So guess what? I'm not gonna get it. I'm not going to get it. It just doesn't make sense. Um, no, it, right? This applies to camera bodies, flashes as well, man, like Godox, Profoto. We're going back and forth and it's like, you gotta ask yourself those three questions, man. Like, is it going to make my photos better? No! Are my clients gonna notice a difference? No! Is it gonna improve my workflow? No! Ask yourself these things because I see you guys going back and forth, bickering, <laughs> debating, and we're spending a lot of money, man. We're spending a lot of money when really and truly we don't have to. Uh, when I first got my Sony a7 III, I did get the 85 1.8 with it. And then it came with this bad boy. This is the kit lens, bro. What is this? 28 to 70. 3.5 to 5.6, okay? This is a stock lens, this is the factory lens. Like These are like hubcaps, it just comes with the, the camera. But I shot a wedding in Costa Rica literally the next day after I got the camera. And I used this bad boy, and dude, I got an amazing shot. Like, look at this shot that I got. That's with the kit lens. This is the kit lens. Is my client gonna notice the difference? No! they're not gonna notice the difference. Um, you may notice the difference if you zoom in, right? If you zoom in 100%, okay, fine. You might see the difference, but what client is doing that? And 
I'm not just delivering one photo. I'm delivering a collection. I'm delivering 600, 700, 800, maybe even a thousand photos to these clients. So they're not going to be looking at one photo and analyzing it like we photographers do. So you got to ask yourself, man, is my client going to notice a difference? Now, my clients are majority brides, grooms, you know, couples, and they won't notice the difference. Now, other clients may notice a difference. If, you know, if you're working with an agency, you have like an art director and so forth, they may notice a difference. So you just got to know who your clients are. Will they notice the difference? Same thing with flash. You know, I got my Godox flash. It's cheap. Does my client notice a difference? Or people walk in, yeah, let me walk in with the pro photos. I'm gonna look like a badass. Your client doesn't notice a difference, right? Godox pro photo to them, it's all expensive camera gear. They're not gonna notice a difference. So ask yourself those questions, man. Will it make me a better photographer? Will my clients notice the difference? Is this gonna improve my workflow? Those are questions that I ask myself. Like I only have the 28, uh, F2, which is filming right now. I have the 85 1.8, and then I got the 135 Sigma 1.8. I love that lens. But that's all I have. That's all I have right now, man. Stop worrying so much about gear. Stop worrying about all the specs and all the stuff that your client is not gonna notice. Stop worrying about all that stuff that is not going to make you a better photographer and it's not gonna improve your workflow. So if there's other questions that you guys ask yourself, yo, drop them in the comments. If you agree with me, yo, hit me up, let me know. If you disagree, definitely hit me up. Definitely leave a comment if you disagree and tell me why you disagree. And let's have a discussion on this, man. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, all that good stuff, man. Peace out, y'all. Pow, 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 pow. No, 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 no.